Okay, three, two, one, it's jam. Hey, Bebop crew, and welcome back to the channel. Today is Figure Friday, and I will be going over my 2023 anime pre-orders. I know we're already in March, but I wanted to display some of the figures I will begin for this year because my figures actually don't start coming in until March. So let's get into it. All right. The first figure I'm getting in is actually a Nintroid. Maureen Kitagawa from My Dress Up Darting. And this figure is about 5,460 yen, which is gonna be about 40 USD, made by Gus Mount Company. Now Maureen is the waifu of last year and probably still one of the best waifus we have. So I'm happy that she will be my second Nintroid for me to ever collect next to my Komi Nintroid. So I'm happy to have her added to this collection. Next figure up on the list is Shui from No Game No Life Zero. I was supposed to get this figure in last year, but there was a delay and she got pushed back to this year. She's gonna run me about 5,600 yen or 115 USD. And this is made by Fat Company. I believe it's a 1-7 scale. Now, I still love No Game No Life, so I had to add Shui to my collection. And I'm very happy she's gonna be added to the No Game No Life shelf. So. Can't wait to actually get her because this is a beautiful, colorful figure. Okay, next is one of my waifus. It's John Alder from Fate Grand Order. This gorgeous figure made by Anapex is a 1-7 scale. Gonna run about 33,581 yen or 246 USD. I love this figure it's john in her swimsuit oh my god i love this she's gonna be one of my final john figures and i kind of asked her a better one i love the braid i love the hair i love the i just love this figure and i can't wait to have her and also it's like my birthday month so yeah this has to be my number one figure from march Now for April, the first figure I should be getting in is my first Hatsune Miku. This should be a 1-7 scale by Good Smile Company, running about 19,900 yen, 146 USD. So this is gonna be my first Miku figure and this is a beautiful one in the streetwear. Streetwear is gonna become like the whole new type of shelf and a whole new type of genre of figure collecting for a lot of people. And I'm happy that Miku is gonna be my first one in that collection. So, and I'm also happy because it's gonna be my first Miku. So I think this is a good choice. All right, next up, we got Skasaha from Fate Grand Order, Bunny Figure by Alter. Now Alter is one of my favorite companies and I missed the original release of this figure. So I'm happy that I get to get it now. So Skasaha is one of my favorite servants in FGO, but this Bunny Figure is gorgeous. It is a 1-7 scale, there is a 1 foot by frame, but Alter is a better company, so I had to pick theirs up, because I just love Alter so much. And I think they're going to do this one justice. So I had to get Skasai, just like I had the recruiter in FGO. All right, first figure up is Shiro from No Game to Life. This figure was also supposed to be released in 2022, but it got pushed back and delayed. It is a Fat Company 1-7 scale. This is a re-release, and it's going to run about 14,770 yen, 108 USD. 
Again, love no game to life. I love Shiro. I'm very happy with this one because it's not one of those sexualized ones because I don't like those for Shiro. But this one's very elegant. This one's very cool. And I love the cheapy minifigures that come with her. So I'm happy to have Shiro join a collection. Next up is Giyu from Demon Slayer, made by Alter. He's gonna run about 21,700 yen, 159 USD. He's gonna be my second Demon Slayer figure right after Rengoku. I am trying to collect all the Hashira. And unless they make remake Rengoku by Alter, I do I am happy to have Giyu from Alter because this one is a beautiful figure. So hopefully I don't cancel him. I have been canceling a few figures, but I don't think I will for this one. Let's hope not. Okay, next figure is Albello from Overlord. This figure is produced by Furyu. It's, it's gonna run about 29,730 yen, 218 USD. This would make my second Albello figure. She has a lot of figures coming out and they are all for the most part gorgeous, but I love this one because I love her hair, I love the wing sculpt, I love the spear that she has. Everything about this is a gorgeous figure and I'm happy to add this one to my collection. Okay, first figure for July is Miku from Quintessential Quintuplets. This figure is produced by Good Smile Company, a very great manufacturer. And it's gonna run about 15,600 yen, 115 USD. This is the date version, also kind of like streetwear. So I'm like, I had to get to this because Miku is best girl from Quintessential. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna collect all of the Quintessential Dateline ones, but I definitely had to get Miku. Cause again, best girl. Okay, next obviously is gonna be Mito from Food Wars. This figure is made by Freen, gonna run about 36,300 yen, 267 USD. If you don't know, I love Food Wars. It's one of my favorite series, especially my favorite edgy series. I have all the other bunny girls, so I had to add Mito into the line. And she is a beautiful character. Do I love the color of the, the bikini, love the skin color, she's like, She's she's definitely wife from Material You. So happy to have me too. This is Ichika. Now she is my second favorite girl in Quintessential Quintuplets. Another good smile company one. Gonna run about 5,600 yen, 114 USD. Now this again, this is a part of that date series. And I do love these casual clothes one. This is a beautiful one. It looks like she's getting you coffee and everything. So, or hot chocolate if you prefer that. So I had to get her. Again, she, her and Miku may be the only ones I get. But I do love this casual date data tire all right next figure this is the original figure is code name addicts original illustration by h from design gonna run about 28,300 yen 208 usd now i've seen this art i have this like saved somewhere and i love the fact that it has a figure because again it's more casual wear but it's also very beautiful and again it's just just i don't know something about it is just amazing this one also comes with an art print which i will be paying additional for with that um 
pre-order price. This figure, just gorgeous. Gonna look so nice next to Miku. Next figure is Kirisu Makise from Steins Gate, produced by Good Smile Company. It's gonna run about 29,700 yen, 218 USD. Now, hands down, this will probably be my grail figure for 2023 because this figure is gorgeous, it's dynamic, it's lovely, and I love Kirisu, and Steins Gate is an amazing anime. I mean, if you look at this figure, you have no doubts about this being a grail figure. So I love it, and the price, Perfect for it. Okay guys, that's actually gonna wrap up my 2023 figure collection or expected things that's gonna be added to my collection for this year. I may add more things or you know, I may have a random spurge to buy something. But overall, that's really about it. I actually don't have a lot of pre-orders this year. I did cancel one or two but overall i may add some things back or i may cancel more things there is one figure that i'm still waiting on that was supposed to be there for like two three years ago and it is my mash from fate and grand order with her shield that figure still has not come in so i'm still waiting and i don't know when that figure is coming in i'm very tempted to just cancel it and use that money towards a figure that i really do want but i i really do want this figure I just don't know what I'm gonna get her. So, I don't know. That's a figure that's still, you know, to be determined what's gonna happen with that one. But overall guys, that is my 2023 pre-orders. Let me know what you're pre-ordering. Let me know if you have any of these items on your list or tell me, you know, just put down in the comments below or a link to my figure collection, what you're actually getting. Did I miss some gorgeous figures that I should be adding? Please let me know. Anyway guys, I want to thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Later be bye.